Hello everyone, welcome to Rudy's vlog. How are you all? Hope you are fine. And this is the study vlog or the informative vlog of an undergraduate Indian college student. Yes, before this video I posted a short on my channel which said that I'm going to post a speech in English about a great person. And yes, this is that. So please do extend your support friends and without any further ado, let's get into the speech. I've actually given my speech on a book launch which ha which was held on 26th August 2022 and the book which was launched is Mutalakshmi Reddy a trailblazer in surgery and women's rights written by respected author V R Devika ma'am as friends this book is just amazing do read the book don't miss it i became a huge fan of the book and the author so This is how I started my speech. Very good afternoon to all present here on this great occasion. Yes, and my second sentence was my introduction. I introduced myself, and in the third sentence, I introduced the subject in which I am going to speak, and it was like, "I am here to deliver a speech about the great Dr. Muthalakshmi Reddy and a great book about her." And from the fourth line. my actual speech began that is i've got into the topic so let's get started while preparing to speak about her i was searching for a word or sentence to convey my feelings about her even the word great seemed to be failing there and when i was indulged in my thoughts the one sentence which called through my heart is the one from this book in the beginning it is said that even dr mutalakshmi reddy was a bit confused about the spelling of her name whether it's r e d d y or r e d d i and it's also said reddy or reddy mutalakshmi was ready for long battles at different periods of her life to achieve some seemingly impossible tasks yes through which she attained great positions in our heart dr mutalakshmi reddy the women who left a mark in the field of medicine education law women empowerment and much more the women who broke the barriers of gender and pushed her boundaries in multiple areas hailing from humble beginnings she was born on 30th of july 1886 in the princely state of pudukottai tamil nadu to narayana swami ayer and chandrama her father was ostracized from his family because of his marriage to a devadasi hence dr mutalakshmi developed a close relationship with the maternal side of her family and this closeness made her very perspective of the community and their issues like how a small spark can burn the entire forest a small spark of enthusiasm is what made her attain such great heights yes her small spark of enthusiasm her enthusiasm to learn is what made her father to make her study pushing all the traditional barriers After a lot of hardship and home tutoring she passed the matriculation in 1902 with flying colors but her application to Maharaja College was not received well by the society the maharaja at that time disagreed all the protest and granted her scholarship Mutalakshmi became the first girl student to be admitted into a men's college she creating the history of being the first didn't just stop here in fact this was just the start When her mother wanted her to get married and she was offered a job in teaching profession she refused them and she asked her for something great she went on to study medicine she was the first and the only women candidate in medical college in 1907 she became the first girl to score 100% in surgery in the college at first that they refused to admit her the barriers fell at last and her classmates honored her with an intercaste dinner a first again she became the first woman house surgeon in the garment maternity and ophthalmic hospital she became the first woman legislator in british india in 1926 and this marked the beginning of her lifelong efforts to correct the balance for women by removing social abuses and working for equality in moral standards her book my experience as a legislator has recorded all her services in legislature we all know about her contribution in the establishment of adair cancer institute and avai home 
but there are much more things we need to know about her which you can learn in a, in detail through the book but i'd like to mention some the kasturiba hospital is a monument to her efforts in passing the resolution to establish a special hospital for women and children it was due to her persistent effort that despite of opposition she brought the anti polygamy act bill with this the bill for suppression of brothels and immoral trafficking of women and children was piloted by her and passed in 1930 she also set up a separate hostel for muslim girls and provided a scholarship for hajran girls institute she also recommended the then government increase the minimum age of marriage for girls to 16 and that of boys to 21 continuing on with her list of being the first she became the first chairperson of the state social welfare advisory board she became the first women deputy president of the legislative council she became the first older women of the madras corporation away home born in the pre independence india and influenced by gandhi and dr ani besant dr mutlakshmi was a trial blazer wielding a sword of resistance to the suppression of women and that's why the leaders of that time chose to include her name in the first flag of independence that was hoisted on the earth fort in 1947 her efforts was awarded padma bhushan in 1956 she passed away in the year 1968 but even after 54 years her efforts towards our society resonate in our lives and that's why during her 133rd birth anniversary the tn government of that time announced that her birth anniversary will be celebrated as hospital day on july 30 every year and taking dr mutlakshmi reddy and this great book as my subject of speech i could go on for hours and hours but here i'd like to conclude by saying this that the biography mutlakshmi reddy a trial blazer in surgery and women's rights by respecter of the vr devika ma'am is the story of a woman who made it a point not just to question the wrongs of the society but also found solutions to fix it so i request everyone here to read the story of pioneer path creator for women get motivated break the barriers and become a trial blazer thank you for this opportunity everyone have a nice evening jai hind